Hello everyone, welcome to another day of my Christmas movies discussions. Today we're going to talk about Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. This movie is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. Not just because it's one of my favorite songs of all time. Basically, the gist is that everything that happened that they said in the song did happen in the movie. And I'm telling you, this movie has a lot of weird last names and full names. So, first one is Spakenheimer. That's the name of the characters in the movie. The last name of the characters in the movie. Jake Spakenheimer, Grandma... You see, what, so, what happens? Why does Grandma get run over by reindeer? Well, it just, yeah. Edwin in the movie, he tells us why. And the reason why is because he has, is, well, Mel, the cousin, We'll get actually we'll get to that in a little bit. Why it happened? So Mel, their, their her cousin, wants to sell the property to the the store basically to this guy, this really rich guy. And since he's kin to Grandma, she thinks it's okay to do so. And Grandma just up and tells her. You will never own this store. And she slips something into her special fruit cake. Now what that is, I'll explain in a little bit. By the way, the Stars of Critic did do this a while back. And I'm gonna link his song in the in the description down below, you guys have got to say, but I gotta warn you. Fast forward to about ten seconds because there is a seizure warning at the at the, at the beginning of the song. They sings. So trust me. Fast forward if you do not if you are. Um, if you have Caesars or or um, or if you're you know if you are you can't stand flashing lights so anyway grandma goes out one night and yes they do sing about what happens and she does forgive vacations, and she gets blindsided by Santa Claus. And of course, you know, he takes her. And so, the uh, all the other people are, it's been a year after this has happened, and everybody, you know, it's just to say, it's, just, it's a song. Part of the song, and anyway, then Grandpa goes into a song about how Grandma is going to have the deadliest Christmas of her life, and it's been, and then that Christmas of that year, Dick Spankenheimer writes a letter. To Santa, and one of his elves, Santa's elves, knows who this person is, and of course he takes him to the North Pole, and Grandma doesn't know who he is, amnesia, because well, she did get hit in the head. 
by with Sarah and his reindeer. So, Jake decides to take her back along with the elf, but Mel, who still thinks that she's gone, wants to sell Spinkenheimers. Oh, by the way, you want to know who's, who Mel's attorney is? I am Slime. I'm not kidding. Her name is I am Slime. And they make a joke about it. When she tells Jake this, he goes, you said it, not me. <laughs> anyway. They take them when they get there and obviously Mel finds out that Grandma's back and of course she doesn't like this because with Grandma there she can't sell the property. So they plan on kidnapping or Grandma napping Grandma and since Santa Claus had admitted to hitting Grandma. He's uh, under arrest. So, it's kind of like the miracle on 34th Street, which I'll get to eventually. But, anyway, she tells them, um, anyway, Jake, you know, goes to the, finds out that Mel has taken Grandma and he goes to this him and the elf goes to a lodge <coughs> and they give her a piece of food and they find her get a piece of food cake out there you know took him out to thinking something's up and then to give, he gives a, a piece of his of a fruit cake, and she remembers. So they go down and tell, and they go down to the courthouse, just in time as they are getting ready to sentence Santa Claus. And so he tell, and so he has an idea. He wants everybody to taste the fruit cake that Grandma made and then the one Mel made. And this is the point I was talking about. See? Put reindeer nip in there. Yep. And Mel's like, well, what about and then Mel's uh, attorney tells that's her well what about the hit and run and obviously there was a letter that doofus yeah that's the dog's name at the beginning of the movie at that point in the movie dig, dug up stating that this was an accident and so Mel completely loses it and tells everybody what happened. And Santa Claus is cleared of all the wrong dudes everybody thought he did. And so they go home, get ready to go home, and Grandma opens the container of food cake and it's the same one that Mel put we didn't it, but it. Oh, and by the way, there's a there's a song sang by grab by Mel and uh, I am slime called Grandpa's going to see the pants off a Santa. <laughs> like I said, it's a good movie. So she gets ran over again, but nothing really bad happens. Is it a good movie? It is. I'm telling you, ABC Family or Fox Family or whatever did it. 
By the way, again, like I said, I will link Nostalgia Critics song. I'm not going to say the name of it because I don't want to be demonetized. But I'll link it down below in the description. It is by far the craziest song on that I've ever heard. I love listening to it every Christmas. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow with, um, I'm trying to think what a movie I was going to do. Oh, uh, well, we'll figure out something tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Like, comment, subscribe, share. I'll see you guys tomorrow.